Well, hello. Um, I'm going <clears> to <throat> keep it short this week. Um, mainly because um, it's not uh, a very fun uh, topic to talk about. Um, as you see in the title, um, Luke Perry uh, died this uh, past week. He died on um, Monday. Um, yeah, June, yeah, March 4th. Um, yeah, you know, he's best known for Beverly Hills, 90210, um, and Riverdale, which I have, I haven't seen. I remember seeing some uh, episodes of Beverly Hill Nano 2.0 when I was real little, but I wasn't really into that kind of um, uh, show. Um, but he was in other shows also. Um, as you mentioned, Riverdale is probably the other best known show, playing um, Archie's father. So, you know, Riverdale is based on the Archie comics. Um, he was in a film called Eight Seconds, who played a bull fighter, or writer, not fighter. Yeah, bull writer, um, Wayne Frost. You know, he was just a very good, he was a very good actor. Um... He was in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie, um, which is what, you know, began the, which was the big thing for the TV show. Um, and again, because of the way the film was made, he, uh, Joss Whedon made the TV show because uh, they, uh, I guess, took out a whole lot of the things he loved and liked about the story and the characters. So, but he played um, Oliver Pike. Um, yeah. Um. Yeah, it's, it's very sad. He's only 52 years old. Had a stroke last week. Um, but, you know, um, hadn't heard anything prior, or, or at least after that. Um, except he was in, a, in the hospital for having a stroke, and then no word until he, it was revealed he passed away. You know, even though I haven't seen much of Beverly Hills 90210, uh, the character he played was very popular. Um, I remember seeing him on that show, and I'm like, uh, something about him, like, uh, he seems cool. But, um, I don't know, I guess whatever I watched, then again, you know, I, I just didn't, I really wasn't into that show. So I didn't really, uh, it wasn't a regular thing that I watched. Um, I haven't seen Riverdale, but um, I guess production has shut down on that show. Um, I saw something that was like renewed for another season, but obviously he's not going to be part of that season, unfortunately. Um, and his uh, last... Uh, movie will be uh, Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. He is playing actor Wayne Munder. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. I don't know. Um, could be mistaken, but uh, yeah, yeah, he's um, going to be in Tarantino's next film. Um, And if you don't know, that movie's about um, 
Leonardo DiCaprio, who's an actor, and Brad Pitt's is a stunt and double and best friend, and they do westerns, and um, unfortunately by the time the movie is, uh, you know, takes place, 1969, um, they're trying to make a name for themselves in the film industry. Well, it coincides with the Charles Manson murders, Manson family murders. Um, but yeah, he, um, it's very sad. Uh, you know, a very talented guy who uh, passes away at a young age. You know, he's 52, he's not, you know, still pretty young um, anyway you know thoughts and positive uh, vibes and everything and all that good stuff to his family and his friends and all those close to him I admired the work that he did that I saw and I will watch um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood you know, he's a very talented guy. It's sad that he's gone now. But, um, he will be remembered through the work that he's done uh, on TV and film. Even though film, there isn't as many credits there, but, you know, he's done enough movies that, you know, I think people who are fans of his will, you know, you know, remember fondly, you know, they'll big diehard fans that will remember him fondly the most. Um, but regardless, it's sad. It's sad that he's died at such a young age. And, um, yeah. So until next time, um, I hope all of you have a good day and have a good week and a weekend, a great weekend. Uh, sorry for this not being the most uplifting and positive video this week but um you know positive in that it's uh talking about somebody passing away anyway um yeah see you all next time